Good morning cultists! In our last episode, we finally had some good stuff happen to us. First off, we got the county of Baghdad, and then we got the duchy of Damashk, and last but not least, we got ourselves a genius boy, whom I will be renaming to... Maxwell. Fantastic. Alright, well now that we have Baghdad, I guess my diplomat needs to be reassigned, so let's see... Whom we should have him suck up to. Hmm... I guess this guy, even though he does really like me. I suppose we might as well top off that hundred, uh, that uh, pinion there. And he is the... What the hell, man? What the hell? If you wanted to take that county, why not just go for the entire duchy of Armenia? What is wrong with you? Fine. I guess we'll just go suck up to him. Need to get a new court imam. And let's have you proselytize in Mecca. Sounds good. Wow. We are able to proselytize like nobody's business. Holy crap. That's awesome. Not quite done with the housekeeping just yet, though. like to get myself an apprentice. And I guess we can go with my daughter? Sure. This way, we can hunt for ingredients and get rid of my depression with the potion of Eudemania. I've called upon my apprentice, Princess Tanit, to help me gather ingredients that are needed for further studies of the mysteries of the world. But first, I need to decide what kind of ingredients we need. So, generally, the healthy ingredients are uh, mostly herbs in the hills. Animal parts, um... Some of them are good, some of them are, are bad. I think there's more bad ingredients um, from animal parts than there are uh, bad ingredients from the herbs in the hills. So, we'll obviously take that choice. And now... We attack you. Well, holy war for Arabia. And guess what? We're also going to attack you for the holy war for Outer Jordan. Now, I could do an invasion of Jerusalem, but I actually want to save that for our invasion of Syria here. Which will happen once the Byzantines are maybe weaker or maybe when we're stronger. Yeah, probably when we're stronger. Uh, they've been pretty stable so far, so I'm not expecting anything uh, major to happen anytime soon. Um, though, yeah, if you guys can stay put, thanks. Boats. Oh, you guys are already staying put. Great. Let's get you guys to move up to K-Bar, and you guys can do the same. Just everyone meet up in Al Jaff, please. Thank you very much. Do I have anything else to do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, 49,000 troops? Holy crap. Wow, looks like this is a huge change that we were looking for. <laughs> Damn. Um, though I've already got my troops raised and they kind of do-ish have more troops than, no, not if we count our retinue, I suppose. So I guess we could do an invasion of Syria, but maybe, hmm. I don't want these wars to be too prolonged. Yeah, okay, well, we'll just deal with this first, and then hopefully we can just... This will go on for a little while. Princess Tanina and I arrived in the hills early in the morning to collect various useful herbs that we could find in the countryside. Fantastic. Alright, go for it, kids. Party of soldiers flying the banner of Emir Aram, the just recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to a farmer in Basra, According to the farmer, the campfire spread out of control and his entire crop was reduced to ashes. He has brought the matter before your court and demands compensation. Mmm. You know what? I'll pay for it. Why not? Hey, there we go! As more and more people seek audience at your court, you have come to realize that there is much to do when it comes to the administration of the realm. You must work harder. Recent events have increased your grasp, grasp of stewardship. Fantastic! Uh, it's still a 10, though. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we lose our stupid traits like, um, uh, what's it? Slothfulness and, uh, gain ambition and stuff. It's all good. Okay. What? Oh, shit. Wait, did they... Oh, no, no. It's not a trade post, trade post. Right. That is concerning, though, because they could potentially cause some uh, strife in our economy. Uh, you guys aren't losing, are you? Mm, no, you're still winning, so that's good. Hmm, what is going on here? Huh, I feel like I should intervene. 
We have now spent days looking high and low for useful herbs. With both me and Princess Tanin exhausted, we are forced to conclude that the small assortment of interesting plants is what we are getting out of this. Three herbs. Nettles, ginger root, and valerian. All healthy herbs, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, well, we do need to tussle with some of their troops, I think. Mm, still 23% in their favor. Oh, I see. It's the combined number of their troops. I thought it was um, the rebellion. As she's growing older... Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see if we can stop you from going there. Oh, no, I guess that hasn't stopped them. Fine, how about I tussle with your ass then? Hey, fantastic. Let's have you move on to... My steward. Um, he is problematic. Because he does own... You know, this stuff, which he shouldn't, but... Uh, I guess for now, we'll just make do. Uh, let's convert Esfahan. We can't. Okay, when can you then? Mm, June 20th. Got it. Right, troops over to uh, the north, please, and thank you. Fantastic. Don't lose, buddy. Do not, under any circumstances, lose. Otherwise, I'm going to go ape shit all over your ass in the least sexual of ways. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Good job. Thank you. And we'll go kick your teeth in now. Oh, thank God. I thought uh, Maxwell died. Holy shit. Almost had a heart attack. Your son and your heir, Fadil, has perished after being served a cup of poison tea by Rafika, your treacherous wife. It seems she murdered him in an effort to see her own declared as the heir. Um... I'm... Okay with this. Actually. I mean, I'll imprison you. Just out of principle. But I'll release you immediately. Yeah. She's okay with it. Fantastic. As a matter of fact, I think I got a uh, bonus to my, uh, or to her opinion of me. Okay, so let's prioritize the rebellion first, because that's always temporary. Well, usually I've seen some rebellion rebe rebellions last for a le very long time. Mm, be ambitious, which is potentially problematic, because um, if she's an entry character and she turns out to be. In the list of shadow, she could potentially be a very dangerous uh, person to piss off, I guess. Eh, whatever. Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Died under suspicious circumstances. Wasn't me. In the immortal words of Shaggy, wasn't me. Okay, um... Do we have anyone who can replace him? Yes? Ah, there we go. Najib, content. Damashk is yours. Fantastic. Oh, so I think I've got the ingredients, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then let's go ahead and brew the potion of Eudemania. And I'll just combine the two because they're both healthy herbs, I think. Oh, I should have read that uh, event. My bad. Sorry. I, I was just so used to reading that from uh, before. I completely forgot that I never read that in this campaign. Uh-oh. Expansion is China. Appreciates Tengri's, but despises Christians. That could be interesting. I brewed the potion just like the enciphered recipe dictated. Mere seconds after it passed my lips, a wave of pleasurable sensations rolled over me. While the peak of my bliss was short-lived, that first rush must have washed away the dispiriting darkness that has plagued me for so long. Fantastic. Alright, um... I guess I could send you some of my courtiers here. Hmm, maybe I'll wait for one of my sons to become older. Well, Fadil is dead, so I don't know if we can really help that. Maybe Mansoor? I guess. Concubine? I'd rather sit, not send my daughter there. I guess we'll send Suzanne. She's proven to be a bit of a disappointment, so... There you go, girl. So now I have a thousand grace. Gotta wait until I have um, 2,000 grace so that I can get the trade agreement with China and boost my economy, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure my daughter will be missed. Sure, sure. Okay, let's ask him if he's doing well. And my wife has camp fever. Uh-oh. What the hell? Where did she get the camp fever from? Hmm. And he likes me more. That's nice. That's nice. But I think he's taken on this person as his lover. 
Yeah. Maybe? Because she got pregnant out of the blue. She wasn't married. She wasn't anyone's concubine. The only clue is that um, she's friends with that guy. Okay, sure. As long as China doesn't try to tussle with me, we should be fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Western Protector or Territories. Could be wrong, though. Well, in any case, not a huge issue for us right now. Let's just focus on this. Fantastic. Move on to Mon. And I guess I could try to tussle with your troops there a bit more. Oh, yeah, well, it's a minor dude. I don't really care about that. Go far as under siege, and I don't know who you are. Don't bother me with that crap. Okay, he's trying to kill whom? Oh, he's trying to kill Suzanne. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Hell no, G.I. Joe. Let me uh, ransom your ass now. Oh, I can brew him a potion of Eudemania, too. Huh. Interesting. Kind of. Alright, 55%. Gotta make sure that he doesn't try to siege down Oman. Otherwise, we're gonna lose that trade post forever. Yeah, I don't care right now. Thank you. Siege that down. Alright, we might as well expedite this. Rafika is pregnant. Fantastic. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be another genius boy, just in case the other Maxwell doesn't turn out so well. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's go beat their asses. Fantastic. Uh, I guess we can move him. Woman accused of witchcraft in Muscat has been dragged before your court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence, and it falls on you to determine her fate. Can burn her at the stake, imprison her, or get some cultural technology points. You know what? Just burn her. It's easier that way. The trade route from Baghdad is in dire need of a new ship and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. I'm sorry, what? The trade route in Baghdad is in dire need of a new ship. The landlocked county of Baghdad and landlocked duchy of Baghdad is in need of a new ship. What? Why? Why were you using a ship in the first place? Were you dragging the ship across the land? Across the coarse sand and plains? Is that why you need a new ship? Because you fucking drag this thing across a mountain and now you're like, Oh, why is there holes in this ship? I don't understand. You fucking tools. No, I'm not going to fund your stupid endeavor. Good grief. What a bunch of morons. Unbelievable. <laughs> no wonder my economy's in the shambles. Tools like that fucking... Managing statecraft and whatnot. We're bound to fail. Missalian heresy. My dear daughter and sister in the Hermetic Order, Tanin has stepped forth in it with an idea for a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. The prospect of petitioning the divine itself for knowledge is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement by the Order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. Um, this could backfire on us, but, uh, sure. I guess we'll use our Valerian and Nettles. Sounds good to me. Maybe? Abyssinian Liberation Revolt. Fuck off. Unbelievable, these guys. Unbelievable. Alright, go ahead and seat that down. Summoning the Divine. The time of the time for the ritual has come, and your order has congregated in a spacious room. Symbols scatter the floor as you chant your hymns. Neophyte Tanin has provided you with an all-new... A uh, special type of incense that she claims is necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. If for long, it has permeated the air, and as you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow's chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. Until it seems to connect with something. An entity touches your butt, though you cannot perceive with any, any of your senses other than your uh, butthole. It must be the divine being. You've succeeded. You struggle to control your butthole and uh, to coalesce all your thoughts into your butt, 
in one burning question that shoots out of your butt. Uh, let's go for some more... Let's try stars. I forget what stars does. I think that's diplomacy. I could be wrong. The divine being has given me cryptic advice on the pursuit of astrology in its many forms, but with ample time spent mulling it over afterwards, I believe I've deciphered what it meant. I look forward to putting it to good use. Well, that backfired, but um, at least it's not stewardship, which would, you know, have lowered my domain uh, limit and whatever. Whoa, wait, domain size 11? Really? Interesting. Hmm. Victorious Crusaders. Wow. God has granted King Angelbert of France victory in the Crusade for Aquitaine. Caliph Muzaffaradin of the Umayyad Empire has been beaten at every turn through the war, and he has finally had to give up on his holdings in Aquitaine. King Angelbert has granted the new lands of Aquitaine to Ermagerd um, de Blois. The Pope has made an announcement about the victory and the virtues of the Crusaders as true faithful protectors of the faith. With the Muslims being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Well, whatever. I don't really care. Either way. And, okay, so that's that done and over with. Thank you. And all these lands are mine. I'm hoping that I can actually uh, hold on to the, um, what's it? The stone city? The underground city in Petra? Uh, oh, shit, I can build stuff here. Can I not upgrade this? Wait, is it damaged? Oh, I think it's been damaged. Shit. Who the fuck's been looting that thing? What the hell? What's wrong with them? So what's the capital of Arabia again? It is Man. Ah, right. Hence Petra. Okay, then let's install... Uh... No, he is too old. Hmm. Damn it. Any trade posts? No. Nothing to concern ourselves with. Alright then, I'm just gonna go with the martial character. Ishmael, you can take the county of Mon. And hopefully, that will still be mine. No, it's not. Aw, oh, man. Okay, so now this is his? Or wait. Or maybe it doesn't show up because it's... Huh. So does that count as being mine or what? I don't understand. Because somehow I maintain control of the House of Wisdom despite the fact that I gave Baghdad away. The ways you can take the county of Al Aqaba. And next up is uh, this guy, Suleiman. You can take Al Jaff. Fantastic. And last but not least, Abdul. Kadir, you can take Tabu. Perfect. Uh, let's conserve our money. Oh, right, right, that's the revolt. Well, we should be able to beat them off, right? Tell me we can beat them off. Otherwise, this is going to be bad. A daughter? A non-genius daughter at that. Come on, Rafika. And I guess since I... Hmm... Well, I think maybe I shouldn't be leading troops, just in case I can uh, pump out some more babies this way. Yeah. Let's have Fadil lead that uh, flank instead. Alright, so I think you've got the best. Okay, so we need to convince this guy that I'm hot shit. Alright, diplomat. There you go. Of course, he's not a big fan of me. Too many hell duchies, what? Uh, Baghdad. Basra and... Oh, Palmyra. Right, right. Now, the reason why I didn't give away Palmyra is because of this kid. Hmm. Ah, okay. Well, let's see if we can get this kid killed. That way, we can replace him with someone a little bit better. Yeah, let's do it up. And you become a brilliant strategist. Fantastic. Be brave, girl. Fantastic. And our plan to assassinate the little kid is underway. And, oh, the Peasant Revolt. Oh shit, someone dealt with that for me. Thank you. Much appreciated. Alright, let's go kick your teeth in now, buddy. And I think we've already had some uh, tussles with him, yeah? Oh. Oh shit. 
I guess we got caught. Well, that's unfortunate. Thankfully, I can obfuscate. Oh, shit, I have to choose between the two. Um, hmm. I thought I'd be able to get rid of both, but I guess not. All right, man. Let's have you take the County of Palmyra, and I'm gonna give you the Duchy as well. Perfect. Okay. A little better. A little better. Of course, I'm still considered dishonorable, which will go away in five years, and my other wife is pregnant. Fantastic. A lot of fantastic things happening right now. Knock on wood. I beg your pardon? Bitch, you wanna die tonight? I could, but... Mmm... I don't really wanna start a fuss right now. Elusive Shadow, holy crap. Let's have you be proud. Okay, so let's see what we got so far. We've got... Tanin, Mastermind Theologian... Uh... What? She didn't die when she was 16? What the hell? Okay, Mastermind Theologian... Brilliant Strategist... Elusive Shadow... So I need a Midas Touch character... And... A, um... A Silver Tongue... I forget what the Diplomat is... What is it again? It is... No, not that. Shit. I forget what they, uh, what the thing's called. Oops. <laughs> I played this game for so long, yet there's still things that I can't remember. Oh well. Yeah, wife, you're looking good. Sure. Hmm... I could actually bribe this guy. But... Nah, I wouldn't be able to bring her in anyways. Yeah, I, I don't know why I keep checking that. Hmm... Camp fever. Successful treatment, though. The late nights, the way my wife... Angialka has stopped touching me or even looking at me. And now the whispers of her and that prudish spider... Sheka Parand of Albitri. I can't take it anymore. Wait, so... My straight wife is banging another straight woman. <laughs> what the hell? Wrath of the Old Gods. In response to the new era of crusades and jihads among the Abrahamic monotheists, the great Falkir Fothi has informed all Germanic godies of his plans for a magnificent Germanic pagan response. In fact, all pagan heads of religion are, may now declare great holy wars. This could be the beginning of unprecedented heathen aggression. Lock up your sons and daughters. Nice. Oh, sorry, my bad. So does that mean I get to do jihads yet, or... Whoa! Just at the uh, cusp of the new millennia. <laughs> That's funny. And sure, I'll buy you something nice and I become charitable. Fantastic. Okay, so my stats are definitely looking a little bit better. Um, I would still like to get rid of Cynical and get Zealous instead. But the little boost to Intrigue is, is nice, I guess. Raza, I don't know who you are. Stop reading my letters. Why the fuck is Raza reading my letters? You're not my daughter. Jeez. Wait, why can't we catch up to these guys? Organizer? Stop moving, bitch. Damn it, you asshole. There we go. Finally. How dare you. You smelly butthole. How does that suit you, bitch? Nah, we'll just... Throw him in the oubliette. Maybe he dies. If he doesn't, then whatever. Alright, let me follow you down to Jerusalem. And I'm really hoping that we can get the... Oh, look at that. Yet another genius boy. <laughs> you are Maxwell II. I feel like I should start numbering my uh, my children. Just so I don't get confused and I um, get to see which one actually makes it in the end. Oh, well. Hmm... But then the issue with numbering your children is that the... I think the game kind of mistaken the numbers as like being part of the name. Whereas if you name your child after yourself, then it like automatically acknowledges that you... It's like junior and senior and all that stuff. Whoa, wait. How am I making so much money? Uh, I mean, I don't mean to kick a gift horse in the teeth here, but... Wait, what? How am I getting a city tax? Is it from the rebellions? I think so, because rebellions kind of like act as not part of your actual 
uh, vassal count, but are still your vassals or whatever. I don't really know how to explain it, but they operate kind of outside of the uh, regular laws, I guess. Mm, the Grand Vizier is doing a superb job. I'm having trouble with the town and the castle in Basra, and I shall of course send my Grand Vizier to try and increase the relation between them and us. But which one should I start with? The town- Oh shit, I should have gone with the castle. What the hell? Oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Mm, can you siege that down a little faster, please? I could do this war ending sooner rather than later. Perhaps it could help me to increase Chief Barwaj's uh, opinion of me if I just sent him a gift as a show of friendship and good faith. A priceless work of art. You know what? Fuck this guy. I don't give a rat's ass about you anymore. I got my three beautiful and very fertile wives, and I'm good. Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. Piece of shit. Spurn my advances. What an asshole. What an absolute tool. Wait, you're not... What is happening with you? What even is this right now? You're trying to revoke that guy's thing. And he's winning, which is great. And... Oh, right, that's my war. Right, right, okay. Well, that's fine, then. 86%. 100%. We done did it, boys. We done did it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Duchy of Outer Jordan. The... Capital is in Ver, exactly. Madaba. Makes sense, considering that it is the most well-developed county there. Alright then, um, since this is all part of the Jerusalem package, let's install someone really good into Madaba. Okay. Uh, now the Dutch itself... Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, not the Dutch itself. I'm actually not really sure what I'm talking about right now. Al Karak and Wadi Musa next, or whichever. Let's go with the, the peasant leader guy. Yeah, should be fine. His minor holding vassals might not be his biggest fans, but it doesn't really concern me. Mansur, you can take the county of Negev. And the Duchy of Outer Jordan, I cannot use her from this guy. Because they're defending. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, he's trying for it again. Interesting. Well, it would be really nice if they did lose. Wait, do I not have more boats? I feel like I should have more boats. Should I not have more boats? I should definitely have more boats. I should buy a boat. All right, let's get you guys down there. Not gonna be enough to carry all these dudes, though. Mm, we'll have to do it in piecemeals. That's fine, I suppose. Designated Regent. Nope, can't do that. And we're now hemorrhaging money. So... The money that I'm spending on my levies... Ah, right, right. The boats cost a lot. Okay. Yeah, I should uh, be more cognizant of that and dismiss my boats when I don't need them. Oops. Another fine mistake made by yours truly. All right, troops, down to Masawa. And then we'll ferry on the uh, rest of the dudes accordingly. Thank you. I guess I could take them on now. But just to minimize my uh, retinue casualties. You know what? Just stay there. We'll wait for these guys anyways. That's fine. Who are you? Satara? The Impenetrable? From the uh, Warhammer series? Like, the main dude of the, um, whatchamacallit? The Tomb Kings? Fantastic. I didn't know that he started out his life as a young, uh, Bedouin girl. The brave Satara, the impenetrable. And you're done, son. And you know what? Actually, really good commander, but you must die. Okay. So, got some prisoners, hey? Unfortunately, none of them got money. Why none of you bitches got money? What the hell? Yeah, I guess we'll ransom this guy, and you... I'll ransom as well. I think we're good. Okay, so let's dismiss my... Um, troops, and we'll get my... Uh, what's it? Retinue back home. 
And I think we'll probably end the episode there. So I guess I should get the um, laboratory thing started now, right? Expansionist, but they're stable at the very least. Mm, and I could kowtow before the Emperor, which might not be a bad idea because that'll... Whoa, nice. Because that'll last me a long while, I think. But let me go ahead and finally pay off that debt. And let's get the laboratory started. A truly useful laboratory can take both time and money to assemble, but without an office dedicated to alchemy, I doubt I will ever be able to unveil the deeper secrets of the world. For science! Fantastic. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and hopefully we should be able to declare a an invasion war for Syria. Though, I guess the Byzantines are still suffering from some... Um, uh, what's it? Rebellions and such, so this might not be a bad idea. And then we'll most likely attack these guys as well, and try to take their portion of Galilee. What the hell? Why are you so fractured? What is wrong with you? Hmm. I should also look into, uh, fixing this up a little bit, but we'll do that tomorrow. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!